person with. You are a culmination of beliefs, judgments, standards that you have acquired. All of these subconscious beliefs and identifications were acquired by yourself. No one forced you. Personal myth is extremely important in claiming your personal power. You are not some fixed block thing, but you are a culmination of ever shifting beliefs and ideas. is very liberating. And with most people, their beliefs are extremely subconscious. It is important to, to know how to identify these beliefs. Because those are the telltale experiences that let you know who you're being and whether what you're being is something you want to be. It is about acknowledgement and responsibility. Responsibility means acknowledgement, basically. It means showing up all the way to your experiences and acknowledging to yourself what is occurring inside of you and outside of you.
if you want to be someone who is worthy of having a life that feels organic and authentic to themselves, then we need to claim that. If you want to be someone other than what you're being, you must do that. Because in the doing, you are reaffirming to yourself the new reality.
because in the doing, you are becoming the capable person. And so it is really great exercise to see yourself accomplish things that you never thought you could, even silly things. Um, I always try to do one silly, scary thing a day. in redefining the personal myth. Because myths are nothing more than stories we tell ourselves. And in the telling, they become flesh. They become real. And if you don't like the story you're telling yourself, then you've got to change it.
Oh, my God.